They're probably dead. Oh, I'm not killing them. There's that. It's okay, Victor. Please, calm down. Not like this. <laughs> Jesus, this is hopeless. Look, <sighs> he's at it again. Leave me alone. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> We're in for another show. <laughs> Look at him. Just give up already. <laughs> oh, it's just fucking sad. No. Congratulations. We're past the first phase of the treatment and it looks promising. Your body is responding well to the genetic material. S thank you, Doctor. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Oh, that's all right. You'll thank me in a couple of weeks when the shift starts to occur. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the results. So did you go to the the real deal doctor or the one who was living in your apartment? Our apartment building. Because, you know, I still don't, don't really know what you did to yourself. Because I don't think that that all was about the limbs and augmentations. So colorful. What's that? So you see, while it is technically inoperable, this procedure can practically nullify the symptoms. I'm not going to lie. The treatment is invasive, but it is by far the best oh. option. Oh, thank you, doctor. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Did you hear that, Dan? What? Okay, we're still not out of his head. Uh, last took 15 minutes. I have a bad feeling that this one will take you all longer. Mm, I don't like this. Oh, it's a camera. Is that a body? No, it's a stop. Again, everything around this tattoo parlor which we're not gonna enter I saw it ran somewhere over here no 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 Oh, 
Okay, so that's not what you're supposed to do. What the hell? Oh, he goes away. Actually, this is the place. Where are we supposed to go? Reminds me of Soma. I suppose I cannot hide behind this brush. Oh, now I'm hiding. That's cheating, that's cheating. That may take a while. Am I? Okay, he's over there. We've helped a lot. If I could have seen where he went. Rats started fighting, goddammit. They are scarier than this game. <laughs> Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Hey! Okay. You don't. He finds you. He always gets his prey. Three pairs of eyes. Four. I think it's over there. He's always out there, watching, waiting. I think that's us. I'm right on your day. Yep. Nope. I saw something else. I thought I saw something else. Confused. Okay, this I remember, and now. Yeah. And now we're finally seeing the last moments of his life. So that's good. We're finally nearing the end. Thank you, I already pieced it all together. Administer it. Do you have to remind me each time? Probably didn't, but I did 
true. One more of these, and I don't die. Or get used to it. Yeah. So, Victor, is it? If I can find whatever hole you crawled out of, maybe I'll find some answers. You didn't take it. Nope, you didn't. Yes. You need some more? Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Let's see, yeah, one more. Yes. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Now we are fine. Great. Uh, now we need to find a way out of here. Not there. Maybe over here. Okay. Of course. Really appreciate that we we are just leaving him over here. Really. Please. Thank you. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh. This one's closed. The body shorted out the generator. To get this door open, I gotta restore power. And since this is full of water, I believe that we're gonna get electrocuted. Once we try getting through there. Of course, the door's still closed, so I know. Mm, good to know that in the future they still have physical locks, not the electric ones. Mm, power level. Level. Yes. Oh, wait, give me a second. Can you? Thank you. 10A, 20A, 35A, 20A, and 35A. And now I'm actually glad that I had those physics lessons when I was younger. So otherwise, who knows? I, will, I probably wouldn't have understood what it was. There's that. One of them is gonna blow. The fuse is busted. I need to find a spare. Wait! Of course. Uh, I think I took 35. Let's try. Let's try thirty-five because I think I. Mm. Let's fire right up. Mm. It's never that simple. First is this one. Ah. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. The killer's hideout. Oh, of course, I hate you. Okay, we cannot use the store, so that's not it. Ah, uh, not a little bit. Nope, not here. Not over there. Not there. Nope. Nope. Um, 
play it as it could. It was doing anything. Nope, there was nothing over here. I checked that earlier. Why do I have such screwed up memory? Come on, get up. Oh, something's happening. I have to admit, I'm not really looking for that hideout of his. Or by hideout, do you mean his um, apartment? Wait. We fell all the way to the basement? Yes, to the other part of the basement, it seems. Victor. Remember the name, Victor. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna. Eh, looks like I don't have any choice. That's disgusting. Let's check this place first. So I have no idea which way we are supposed to go. I think that's his then. Oh, hold on. So I assume, yeah. That was the correct, the correct way to crawl through. Oh. So we need to find his apartment. Can you crawl faster? No. And of course the light's gonna go out, most probably. So we're gonna be left out in the darkness. But I'm no way in hell switching on the light. Why? Because there's gonna be probably a jump scare. Yep, thank you, I found it. What a place. Hard to believe anyone could live here. A splicer, a lunatic, and a junkie. Perfect combo. That looks good. Oh, I think it's made with with skin. Let's see, males first. Dear sir. We are the Baller Genetics, and our commentations are deeply saddened by the fact that you are unsatisfied with the results of your gene splicing therapy. B, G, and A employs only the best experts in their field and uses state-of-the-art equipment in order to meet all of our patients' needs. However, we fully acknowledge our patients' rights to have immensely high expectations, even if, objectively speaking, they would be found unrealistic. While we are unable to provide you with specific details regarding our, your treatment, we would like to remind you that in cases requiring the use of genetic material from extinct species, in this instance Canis lupus, both its wolf, uh, our experts compose unique strains obtained from our gene library. Unfortunately, we are not able to provide you with a list of donor species or to confirm slash deny whether a given species was used in the procedure. We would also like to remind you that the aforementioned facts were stated in all uncertain terms in the pre-procedural contract. Finally, we feel obliged to inform you that malicious DNA tampering is a very serious accusation, one that should not be leveled lightly, unless one has strong evidence to support a claim. Any unfounded accusations against BGNA made publicly or in further correspondence will be seen as slanderous and met with decisive legal actions. Sincerely, BGNA patient support. Hey buddy, I got your message. Frankly, it couldn't have come at the worst time. These past few months have been pretty hard. Eliza is out of a job, again, and the baby on the way, so I've been pulling double sheets to save some dough. We want to have the little ones placed as soon as it gets here. 
In other words, sorry, but I just don't have that kind of money. It's not that I don't trust you, I know you'd pay me back. I just can't help this time. Hope you'll figure something out. Hang in there. P.S. Ain't your parents rich or something? I hear they moved to a big district. Can you just ask them for a while? Victor. This freakish charade needs to stop. Now. Mom and dad are terrified and I don't blame them. The whole gene spicing obsession is one thing, but the packages you've been signing them? Whatever you think they did to you, this is fucking cruel and unusual. Vic, you're my brother and I'll love you even more, even if you decide to grow an extra leg or a set of horns, but please, leave mom and pop out of it. If you want them to accept you for who you are, just talk to them, help them understand. I know you're not delusional, so please, get back to your family. We're not your enemies. Hoping to hear from you soon. Danke. Victor, the parts you sent me last week were fucking useless. I managed to salvage the antenna, but the receiver was busted beyond repair and the rest was arrested all to hell. Where did you even get this stuff? Did you dig it out of the fucking trash? Needless to say, the client's not paying for the scrap. I had to offer him a discount with my premier staff just to keep us in business. You're on a thin fucking ice, my fur friend. You pull a stunt like that again and you have to look for a new dealer. Hey, you managed to nap a new client. Guy's interesting, interested in pre-war transmitting equipment and he's got the dough to pay for it. Doesn't need to be mint, but it has to be in working condition. Here's a list of what he's looking for. A B8X antenna, a Nemosynth dual mounter receiver, the bulky industrial one, not the one, not one of them consumer models. A VGX4 encoding chip, Vitalia EIFP fusion batteries, as many as you can find. I'm counting on you, buddy. Don't screw this up. Oh, the natural alternative. We talked to John Sebastian Ballard, the CEO of Ballard Genetics and Augmentation, on the future of personalized modification and the fear of change. Mr. Ballard, please call me John. John. Let me present you a hypothetical situation. Let's say your son turns 18. He comes to you and says that I don't feel comfortable with my body. I'm going to go to the nice folks at PG and A and have them grow tentacles on my face. Well, if he had the means to pay for the treatment, I would assume him to be a very smart young man. So I would gladly hear him out and do my best to understand his decision. You don't need the question. I'm merely pointing out how unfair it is. It's always easy for rabble rousers to say, what if it was your kids? But in truth, this conversation has been going on for hundreds of years. When the cybernetic revolution came about, there were people saying that we were all doomed, that we've gone too far. A hundred years ago, a transgender person would be shunned as a misfit and a freak of nature, which thankfully seems outlandish by today's standards. There will always be people out there who fear change. But what if we reach a point where the rebel rousers, and thanks for that, by the way, will be right? Is our limit? Is gen splicing it? A very wise man once said that for us to be afraid of genetic research was akin to the ancient Chinese being afraid to fly kites because one day they might be crashing planes. I believe this sentence to be true even today. In terms of shaping our genome, we have barely scratched the surface. And yet it's being promoted as a whole new trend. We're seeing teenagers risking their lives by making these irreversible changes. Not a BG and A. We only treat consenting adults. That's all well and good, but the technology is out there, isn't it? The cat's out of the bag. Come now, Tom. Are you really going to make me use the guns don't kill people argument? I'm only wondering if you think it's, it's, it's responsible to promote it as a fashion statement. Please, you said it yourself. The treatment is irreversible and does involve a degree of risk. Albeit small. Do you actually think anyone will make a life-altering decision of the caliber on a limb? You could using the word treatment. Why? Because that's precisely what it is. Not really, though. I mean, it doesn't treat any illness. Of course it does. Frankly, I'm a bit shocked to have to explain this to you, Tom. When you speak of illness, you're clearly thinking of purely physical ailments. I'm certainly not trying to offend you, but I think it's fair to call that mindset medieval. So you're saying turning someone into genetic hybrid is a form of psychotherapy? 
I'm saying that anything that helps a person feel at home in their body should not be instantly discarded. So we should just jump in with both feet. Is there no place for healthy skepticism? I rarely find skepticism healthy. More often than not, it's a refuge for the prejudiced and the close-minded. All I can ask for is to not vilify that which we don't understand. Do you consider yourself a prophet of change? <laughs> I consider myself tired. It's been a very busy week. In that case, I'll let you rest. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for having me. Okay, it looks like this is the... This, okay, so that was his first chain, growing some fur and it's in blisters. Other change, limbs, augmentations to extend them, changing shape. And he should have changed the shape of food as well. Just me. And this didn't go too well, changing the shape of ears. Looks like they changed the shape of his face so that the eyes go over eyes a little bit more. Uh, we see the hairline a bit more and that uh, lip removal. Lips and teeth. Yeah. He came to me again. The man from the looking glass. His voice is really looking at that. Like leaves rustling in the wind. He's the only one who understands. The only one who cares. He made me see what I was lacking, what I must do. But what he's asking, am I strong enough? Of course I am. That's the coward Victor talking again. Enough talk, ugly human words hurt my throat. I can barely get them out anymore. It's time to act. No, oh, that sounds rough. I can't look at that. I'm sorry. Come on. We know what's in there. So just do it. Okay, I didn't expect that. Oh god. No. This can't be happening. It's not fucking happening. Dad? The head speaks. What the hell? Dad? Are you there? What kind of a sick game is this? Dad, I'm still alive. The head. Don't connect to it. Adam? Adam, are you there? I need your help. There's a place right here. It's called Sanctuary. Adam? Adam? Just try to... Try to call me back. Cut. Damn it. Don't connect to the head. I don't know what to believe anymore. The voice claiming to be Adam want me not to look at the head, but can I afford not to? I ain't censured. The voice claiming to be Adam mentioned a public zone censured. There's any chance he's there. I need to find it. So we can. Okay. So I believe we're not gonna connect to this head. To this head. I keep. No. I'm glad I'm not, I'm not earning any money from this. Oh. Wait. Okay, it was closed again. Uh, again, earlier, I meant. But you didn't really leave me any... Any clues as to where the sanctuary could it be, you know? Adam. That's for sure. 
Okay, now I know that's us. That's some part of us. Eh? I thought I saw some more over there. But that was just a bar. Part of the metal bar. Oh, over here. Okay. Oh, it's busted. Wait. That's not well. Wait, 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 okay, this way. Yep, yeah, okay. Just occurred to me, but God damn it! Okay, at this point it's getting annoying. I keep getting interrupted, and I think this is ah, that's a good point. I need to finish this part because I'm out of it anyway. So thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. <laughs>